Hello, my name is Mike Franzman, and I want to give you an introduction to this video you're going to watch because uh, I have to place it in context time-wise. In 2004, uh, the FCC was really starting to crack down on anything they thought was inappropriate. So uh, a show like Howard Stern had a lot of trouble. Anytime a guest or someone did something inappropriate or colorful or language or whatever it was, content, if it was not approved, the FCC would find the radio station and it was thousands and thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands. And it was, it was quite an obstacle for a lot of radio people. Also, uh, during Super Bowl 38, Justin Timberlake and Janet Jackson came out and did their dance and, and then he ripped off part of her dress to expose her ornate jewelry there. They ended up having to say it was an accident, right? Because people went crazy. It's inappropriate. It's, it's like the pilgrims and Puritans had never seen a, 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 a piercing or, or even an ornate breast before. <laughs> Can I say breast? <laughs> anyway, um, it occurred to me it would be funny if I pretended to interview Tony Soprano in New Jersey and ask him about what he thought about the FCC and specifically how they were giving Howard Stern a hard time. Um, so I created this with Tony Soprano. But the language was bad and I had to censor it. But by the time I got around to censoring it, Howard Stern had left terrestrial radio and now did satellite. So I never showed this Tony Soprano interview to anybody until today. So uh, here it is. It's me interviewing Tony Soprano in 2004, right after the Super Bowl uh, wardrobe malfunction. And I asked Tony Soprano what he thought about it. Warning, this is uncensored, okay? <laughs> so. Uh, here is me interviewing Tony Soprano for the Howard Stern Show, and it has never before been heard till now. I'm live on location in New Jersey, where I'm hoping to catch Tony Soprano as he comes out of the pork store. Here he comes now. Tony, Tony, can I ask you a couple of questions? Will you leave me the fuck alone? I'm sorry, Tone. I, I know I shouldn't surprise you like this, but can I just bug you for one minute? Time's up. Oh, Tone, please, just like two questions. You, know, you people are something. Thanks, Tone. How do you feel about what's going on with the FCC right now? Government can do whatever the fuck they want to do. But do you feel like the government is trying to take too much of our personal freedom away? Please, huh? Don't get me started. So you feel that it's worth fighting the government on the freedom of speech issue? Even with all this terrorism shit, the government has resources up the ass. Right, but it's the American taxpayers who paid for those resources, right? It's the American taxpayers who pay for airport security. Look how well that's going. Give me a fucking break. Actually, Tone, that is one of my questions. As head of the Soprano family, how do you feel about airport security? Let's do another question. Um, all right. Uh, how do you feel about what happened at the Super Bowl halftime show this year? You want to talk about that now? Why not? That was weeks ago. I know, but I, I was wondering if you felt that the wardrobe malfunction was really done intentionally. It was an accident, all right? All right. I'm just saying, Tone. Just kids. Okay. Tone, I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing by that tone. <sighs> Just talking about Janet Jackson. Cut her some slack, will you? I will, no problem. You gotta understand she's going through a rough time right now. Uh, sure, you know, with the media, you mean. Change a life, maybe. Change a life? I had no idea Janet Jackson was going through that. Do you think that's why she uh, exposed her breast? On some level, she may feel unfulfilled. That makes sense. Now, I could see that. Now, is there anything you'd like to say to Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake if they're listening right now? They can both go fuck themselves. Oh, please, Tone. Howard's in enough trouble with the FCC already with this kind of thing. We're going to sue the goddamn Justice Department. Now, I hear you, Tone, but if you swear on this show, then Howard gets fined. I got cash flow problems of my own. Now, I, I hear you. It's just that every time Howard makes a joke now, they, they call it indecent. You know, it can be risky trusting him to have a sense of humor. Yeah, but you think Howard's funny, right, Tone? Yeah, but what I think is funny is what an eight-year-old boy thinks is funny. How do you think Howard will do against the FCC? He's not going to get hurt. He's a tough kid. In your opinion, Tone, is Howard Stern the king of all media? He discovered America is what he did. Oh, that's nice. End of story. And Paulie. What do you think about Howard Stern? He's a saint. But what do you think about the complaints and the fines? No, me a bump on the road. Do you think it was Howard Stern's opinions about George W. Bush that got him thrown off the air in certain markets? What the fuck is this all of a sudden? Well, it's about free speech, Tone. 
Oh, so you're taking a stand here now? Sure. Huh? You pick here to make a stand? Yeah, why not? We're on the Howard Stern Show. We gotta let people know that we gotta fight for our, our rights. We gotta fight for freedom of speech. Don't do something you're gonna regret. Well, is speaking out a bad thing? I don't know. I'm trying to help you out. No, I, I appreciate that. It's just... I'm looking ahead to where the freedom of speech issue could end up. So what are you now, the amazing Kreskin? No, no, I'm just trying to raise some awareness of First Amendment issues and maybe raise some money in case Howard has to fight the FCC. All right, good. I understand you want to do something, but use your brain. No, Tony, thank you. And I know Howard is going to be pleased to know that the Soprano family is behind us on this. Okay, we'll work something out. Thank you, Tony. And how much can we count on you for? 100000 Can you do any better than that, or... What, are you fucking kidding me?